Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another huge BB and Ecomi video. Now, this one is very, very big. I was actually going to go to it on Twitter myself and check it out, but I asked the content creators, did anyone do a video on this? Has anyone shown shown this? And the homie Metal Lemon actually sent it to me and let me know that he covered it a bit on his channel. So make sure you all show some love to um, Metal Lemon, subscribe to his channel. Um, I definitely appreciate all the content creators, especially those who actually show love and um, support the fact that I try to support the community. So yeah, that being said, y'all, please go get him to a thousand subscribers. I don't think he's reached a thousand subscribers yet, which means he's not monetized and he's actually a very hard work in the community. I always see his videos. Obviously, I'm a subscriber. So um, go give him some love. Go subscribe to the channel. And let's, let's check this out because this is big. We had some talk of Pokemon. Now, this is huge because it came from David Yu and Alfred Kahn, which if you go back to my initial videos on the channel, four of my first five videos mentioned the fact that Pokemon, Pokemon would be coming to Vivi. Like, it was a it was a no-brainer at that point in time. Like, it was a no-brainer. Now, um, yeah, we're going to hear what they said. Um, obviously, I'm not expecting a, a just straight-up confirmation. They're still under contract. They, they still can't say certain things. So if they have the license secured, which I believe they've had secured for a while, or at least it's been in a plan, like they can't just come out and say, oh, we have it. It's, it's, it's guaranteed. They can start building hype by saying things like, uh, it, 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 we're in talks. Like if they say we're in talks, that's not breaking contract or anything. Like they can say that to start teasing, but they obviously would not be able to say, yo, we, we secured that. We've been secured it. Nothing like that. So yeah, we're going to see what's going on. But yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and let's get it, y'all. You guys listen to that in a bit. So here we go. Three, two, one. You can have a listen. Are still actively pursuing the, the infamous uh, P word and maybe give us some alpha tonight? Or um, or uh, are you guys going to plead the fifth? Yeah. Um, the, 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 the honest truth uh, is we, I, I'm personally... Uh, uh, have been in contact with both uh, the European and the Japanese office. Um, and, you know, we, we have started a dialogue and it's just really about timing and making the best product. So they've started a dialogue, but it's about timing and making the best product. Now, this doesn't say, so far, this doesn't say when they supposedly started the dialogue because, honestly, they started the Disney dialogue in 2018. So, I mean certain things that they they've been in talks for a while and an ip of the caliber of pokemon i can't imagine that takes a, a short while um so yeah i would imagine that that takes some time um and for them to be getting to the point where they can say something about it right now which is basically teasing it to the community i'm assuming that it's coming sooner than later which means that we must be some years into this conversation if they are just now able to actually mention the fact that they're in talks which i take it as it's getting close to release so yeah that's my uh, interpretation of this so far um and at, at the moment in, in time they you know one one of the thing about and one of the thing that we have learned about um companies such as pokemon is that in, in the trading card business, as you probably guys have seen, you know, past quarters, it was so popular, it was so hot, people were almost robbing like retail stores just for these grail cards to open the pack. Uh, what, what this company does is that they will mass produce the cards to bring down the inflationary of, of, of the pricing so it doesn't get overcooked. Um, so one one of the major thing about these trading card businesses is that they will keep printing more and more to to drive the value down in a way is that they don't want kids to start betting and and feel like they're gambling on things that that's number one um they so that's interesting i didn't i wasn't aware of that that they they intentionally devalue the the things that they put out that's actually that's that's good but i am curious does that mean that they they will do the same thing they will want to take the same approach with their nfts because i think that that would kind of suck if that's the approach that they take with the nfts but i get it i mean i definitely get it i understand but i don't think that it will be the same effect you know when it comes down to a digital product i think that kids are used to not being able to get certain things certain skins and games and things like that i think that that's just the norm and expected so 
Yeah. Their approach is mainly around, um, you know, the tradability of these um, uh, product digital asset. You know, they can be resale for infinite amount of money uh, again, over and again. Um, Pokemon as a company is, is, is very smart and that's how they have keep cu- curating their brand and, and making themselves very relevant and, and stay ahead of the game, making their product collectible and is choosing the right partner and coming out with right product at the right time is very important for them. So um, like, like anything else, um, and Al have said, you know, they we, we have a checklist, um, and this company is definitely on, on our checklist uh, yet to be ticked off. But that's amongst, you know, hundreds of other um, companies out there. And I think I, I did mention a couple AMA. Or yet to be ticked off. So that means that they've probably been in negotiations probably as long as Marvel. Or if, like I said, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can, the fact that he's speaking about this, telling this, and and publicly saying this i think that it could be one of two things i think they could be very bullish or very bearish I, uh so far it sounds to me like admitting that they're looking at other partners looking at other routes to go which i don't think would be the case but i have to put it out there that it sounds like this could be bearish in a sense where they could be about giving up like that on, on the fact that they could never that they don't think they can get pokemon which maybe he's preparing the community for the fact that they can't pull that off or they have secured Pokemon and he's now open to talking about the story and just saying that it's not ticked off yet because obviously if it was ticked off, he wouldn't be able to say it because it would be a breach of contract. So yeah, like the, it, this could be taken either way. Let me know your interpretation of this in the comment section. You all know I'm leaning towards the bullish. Um, that's the direction I want to lean towards. But um, let's see if he says anything else that gives any more clues or hints as to what's what's being said here. Because yeah, the, that, that, that statement I didn't like was the um what did he say he said um they're, they're they have to choose the right partner at the right time um and it has to be the right product and, and all that but the fact that he knows intimate details and stuff about what they're looking for they have that relationship they have the alfred Khan, they have jeremy padawar they have all these guys who who are involved with pokemon and everyone seems to feel that vivi is the right partner um for everything i I think that that says a lot that speaks volumes and i think that that would play a role in who gets pokemon so when you factor in everything that we know thus far this is what makes me lean more so towards the bullish side than the fact that uh maybe pokemon is going somewhere else and this this could be throwing the hands up and saying yo we, we, we're probably not going to get that type of thing so um i think that if unless pokemon decides to do its own thing in this space fully which i don't i don't know if they would I think that there's nobody else who would get it over Vivi. I don't see Pokemon going to a palm or something like that. I just don't see that happening. So, yeah, I think Vivi is the only no-brainer choice outside of just the current Pokemon company doing their own project, which isn't off the table either. So, because it's not like Pokemon. I mean, I don't know. Like, I would say it's not like Pokemon needs Vivi, but in a sense, it, it, it would depend. It depends on how this this metaverse world actually shapes out, shape, shapes up. So, um, yeah, it, it's the turnout. The turnout of this world is going to definitely matter. Are people going to want to be going to separate project after separate, separate project after separate project? Um, yeah, it's, it's just I think that it's going to be more companies like Vivi is going to be the where a lot of brands go through companies. I don't think that's going to be the Netflix thing where everyone tries to do their own thing. I don't think it makes sense for this space, like put doing an NFT um crypto infrastructure just doesn't make sense for every brand to do themselves it doesn't like everyone's not going to be buying that many different types of tokens i think there's going to be certain cryptos that went out certain currencies that went out certain certain currencies that went out in certain categories so the omi token could be the king of the entertainment category and like i I, i'm hoping that that's the case you know like well i'm sure a lot of us are but yeah like stuff like that where it's like it's not going to be all these winners but a lot of a lot of companies can win. And I see Vivi as one of the winners of the space overall, in my opinion. You know, so Twitter space at off. But that's amongst you know hundreds of other um, companies out there. And I think I, I did mention a couple AMAs or Twitter space at um, Japanese content is a key uh, factor for us. 
But you know, one one other thing we need to start thinking is that um, uh, which which has been brought up, and we we're going to be trialing it uh, sooner or later is uh, geolocations. You know, having product only certain regions can access them, um, and and making more product that's more uh, localized for that environment, um, and then um, have drive, you know have giving the team high priority on multi-language you know we have huge speaking uh, region from france spanish um, japanese mandarin um, and all these areas that we need to start focusing and targeting and that will be part of our 2023 approach um, so they're going to be expanding into different countries for 2023 they're going to be and, and that's probably when we can expect to see them focus japan and that's probably when we'll see Pokemon. I think Pokemon, it sounds to me like if Pokemon comes to VV, we can expect it next year once they get the the language support, like once they get the different languages, support for different languages. Um, so I think that that's going to be one of the grails for next year. That's going to be one of the biggest things for next year because the way that they're rolling things out, you know, we have these, these big moments. They drop these big features, big things. Like, um, and this has really been a year for Marvel. Like, we've seen a lot of Marvel Disney. This has been Marvel Disney year. I think so. So because we've been entertained and we've been kept happy buying things this year, we're happy for the most part, you know, as happy as you can be doing a bear market. We've been good with Disney. So I think that next year, they're probably going to go heavily on anime and Pokemon will probably be one of the big grails from next year. And if they keep that going, honestly, I feel like dropping Pokemon next year, you win the year. VV wins that year. So they won this year through Disney and Marvel. I think they win next year if they drop Pokemon um, and some Dragon Ball Z, stuff like that. Because obviously, they, they get to drop and stuff like that. They win that year. And then, um, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know where they go. Maybe music, maybe automobiles i don't think automobiles is big enough though like it's not like you're actually driving a car so i think that that's that's probably that may be a little subcategory that we see drop next year just like in the mix i don't think a car category is big enough to keep interest high uh you know like by itself so i don't music now music concerts and stuff within the vb verse that's something i can see the following year so after 2023 like 2024 like 2024 i could see music being what takes over vb and having concerts within the metaverse and starting to bring in celebrities and that that's really when that marketing budget get to work like that's what i was i would think is really gonna you know could really separate vv in 2024 but we got to get to 2023 first and then anime has to get probably, oh actually sports whenever they release sports as well that's going to be huge so sports could go into the following year or honestly sports pro will probably have to be next year because after a few anime brands you got like naruto you got uh one piece dragon ball z and pokemon i mean anime is still huge don't get it twisted but those are like the grails so after that getting some sports involved would be huge like especially i don't know if they if they're planning on releasing a category per year i don't know what they're planning to do their strategy there so it's going to be interesting to see what approach they actually take with the with this content drop what licenses they have secured what licenses we see It'll be interesting. I know whatever the strategy is, is, is probably going to be a good one. They're very good at what they do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. But I do believe that we have Pokemon. I'm leaning towards us having Pokemon and, and the fact that they're speaking on it, explaining how that they're in talks and things like that. I believe that it's coming sooner than later. Um, um, yeah, but just going back to your uh, P question is that uh, we I'm, I'm in the personal dialogue with these companies. Uh, you know, I have email still a live thread um you know the this quarter in fact so so he has a live thread from this quarter see the fact that he he said that is this quarter that makes me believe that they've been talking before this quarter because he just basically said i'll have a live thread from this quarter actually what, what, what would be the point of saying that if you just got into dialogue like you 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 would have like more than likely they were talking Maybe talk slowed down for a little bit and now they're getting back to them. So now it's looking more realistic, like it can happen soon and they, they're getting that go ahead. Okay, Pokemon saying something like it's time. So now they can start saying things like we're in talks because it's, you know, it's it's getting closer to that time. So this is how I'm interpreting this. Like I said, could be wrong, could be right. 
But, I mean, I guess we'll see. Only time is going to actually tell. But I feel like that, for me, was just a confirmation that this is this is coming sooner than later. Um, the fact that they're in talks, and he just pointed out that it's from this, this month. Oh, uh, or last quarter. So, you know, it's just really about timing and, and finding the best balance of it. But there's a lot of other products. It says, it says about timing and finding the best balance of it. So timing, the best balance. So so timing, like that that's really what it's going to come down to. So they're in talks. So basically, yeah, this, this is my interpretation. They're in talks. It's going to come down to when that when Pokemon presses that button and says, yep, it's time. You, call, you all can release it. You all can drop it. I think that that's what they're waiting for, the go ahead from Pokemon. That's what I think is, is happening right now. I think that they're already and all set to go. That's not a drop you get together at the last minute. They've probably been working on that as long as they've been working on Marvel, and they're waiting for the go green light. Like That's what I feel like. Uh, we will be announcing uh, that, you know, that is as good. Um, I'm sure you got. Okay, so a lot. All right, I want to hear. I want to hear Meta Lemon's opinion right here. Let me see how he interpreted this. But yeah, um, that 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 y'all y'all already heard. Y'all heard what I think. Let's hear what Meta Lemon thinks. Then we gonna wrap it up here. To pack in from that one question is the P word Pokemon coming. Um, and I don't know if Davey used doing this on purpose, but um, when you start not answering the question directly and you kind of throw around their things here and there um it kind of the question kind of gets lost in you know a little bit muddied right uh because he talked about a couple things in here but one of the things i took away the key thing here is that um if you missed it the first time i just played it i'll let you re-listen to it here we, we have a checklist um and this company is definitely on on our checklist uh yet to be ticked off so this company is definitely on our checklist yet to be ticked off so that is an indirect way of basically just saying we don't have pokemon right now we don't but also you got to keep in mind like, like like i said uh they wouldn't be able to say we got pokemon if they had it so there's nothing else that you say here to answer this question i think that the way that vv operates all their teasers all their hints and stuff saying that it's not ticked off yet is saying that they they have it honestly like that that's what that's how it comes across to me because i feel like that's the same thing that they would have said about marvel if we would have had one of these spaces like right before marvel was re released and before we knew that they was talking to marvel in 2018 or to disney in 2018 i feel like that that probably would have been a similar response we probably would have gotten that because they can't just come out and say we have pokemon they would have had to avoid it or deny it you know like there's no other option we don't have it, uh, but Davey used in a personal conversation through emails because he mentioned it later in the question down the thread. Uh, he, there, there's still a thread of the emails open that he's continuously talking. So again, the point is to say that Pokemon is not confirmed. Um, but I do see other people um, starting to say that yes, it's a it's confirmed. It just depends on what kind of product that they're creating, right? So you have to be, be careful with how you frame that because. It could be it could happen both ways there's one scenario where you know they have the license confirmed and now they're in the uh process of product curation and pr production right that's what a lot of people are saying right now but based on the information here it seems like the license ip will get approved based on what product and curation that vv proposes so it's the other way around so they vv needs to come up with like a um a sound and also more palatable uh collectible and you know curation of the product i mean but see that that's that's where it kind of gets shaky you think uh, vivi done did all this with all these other brands and the brand that they all started with alfred khan started with pokemon he founded pokemon you got jeremy padawar here and then you got david Yu, who's who started off one of his biggest ip was pokemon that's how he started his whole career so you telling me these Pokemon guys, they plan out VV, all this crypto NFT stuff and all these other brands, and they didn't get a proposal ready for Pokemon that covers all these bases already. <clears throat> I just don't feel like it makes sense that they, they're not prepared for Pokemon. I think that they've been prepared. The Pokemon stuff is probably already ready. And they're just waiting on a go ahead from, um, from, from Pokemon. That's why I'm leaning that route more so than anything, because it's the only thing that makes sense to me. Like, it does even sound like this could be, it, it sounds like if you if you don't want to be full moon boy here, it sounds a little bit like it, you can interpret this as we, we want to get them ready just in case we don't get Pokemon. It can be interpreted like that. So I had to point out that interpretation. 
but all the facts and details we know, it still is leading me to believe that they have it. It's ready, and they're waiting on a sign off from Pokemon. That that's why that's the conclusion that I came to. And they gotta put that forward to uh, the Pokemon company. And then they will approve that based on that. That's kind of what's happening, not the other way around. It's not like, you know, because because some people say, like, even this guy here. Um, where's this guy here? If I can find it. Yeah, so he's saying, uh, David said they are actively talking about what products to create. So if you re-listen to the whole thing, like I just let you guys listen to, they're saying that they need to see that first, what VV is going to do with the license before they approve it. So that doesn't mean that they have the license, right? It's one thing is needed to be... In but that, that's the thing. This would, this would also be the first time ever that VV tells us exactly the criteria that a company told them to drop a license. When has VV ever been this forthcoming with information? <laughs> like, they don't share information like this before it actually happens. How... Like what the company said that they have to do to drop to drop their IP. That like no, Vivi doesn't do that. They they speak on things, especially like licenses when they have it. Like yeah, so yeah, th this is why I I get like I get I definitely get his perspective though. Very very literal, li and this is just based on what they're saying. If you're listening to it, but I feel like we've been here long enough to know that when they're saying something, they're probably saying something else. Like you know, so yeah. in conclusion with the other, so. I just wanted to kind of like offer that opinion as well because a lot of the times you know and we have this tendency where we listen to something and then you know you have the confirmation bias right of like you know they said they have it so now this just confirms that they have it even more well no like he literally says that this is a company that's on the checklist but it's yet to be ticked off right and at the very end he throws in saying like oh uh but also we have other ip and licenses just as good as pokemon right I don't think that that exists, but I don't want to, um, I, I want to, um, end it right here. Uh, I definitely want you all to check out the rest of his video, hear the rest of his opinions. He's kind of keeping a level headed, grounded head, like going based off of, he's playing like almost like devil's advocate. Like if, if we're going to go by what they say, this is what was said. So this is all we have proof and evidence of right now. So if you, if you go this route, I mean, he's right. Um, I go obviously based off of my own speculation, my own feeling and the things that I think is is most likely based on my history throughout this community like i've never heard them tell us all the criteria they needed for a license before like this i've like i like they don't speak about ips like once they mention something they more than likely have it so let me know what you all think in the comment section down below fam um be sure to check out his channel show some love drop that thumbs up subscribe turn on notifications and i will catch you all on the next one peace out joe